don't want it to damage our relationship any more than, you know, <sighs> you know fighting a lot lately. And it's just... The full situation is not going to be drama for Jordan Dorsey. I'm going to control that for Jordan, you don't worry about it. Boom, bam. What is going on, people? We are back again with another freaking video. And this one is all about Darcy and Stacey in the most recent episode of season four, episode six. Yes. Make sure I've got that correct. <laughs> but with that being said, as you saw from that opening clip right there, this is Florin and Stacey at the beach. Florin is trying to make up for the fact that Stacey is upset because obviously her and Darcy have kind of fallen out due to the fact that Georgie has been allowed to come to the wedding. In fact, Darcy at this moment in time still believes that Georgie hasn't even been asked. She thinks that Florin is planning on asking him when, we, of course, we already know that he already has. Now, here's the thing though. In this scene in particular, Stacey's obviously crying and obviously stressing how much she does not want to ruin her relationship with her sister because at the moment it's already you know off the hinges anyway and bringing georgie is just not going to fix anything so therefore she definitely doesn't want georgie georgie there but florin as you can see gives zero freaking f's he believes that he's got all the power to make sure that georgie can still come and him and stacy are going to be a no and him and darcy are going to be a okay well let's see how the episodes proceeds doesn't he have other friends? No, it's just awkward. It's, just it's gonna be awkward. It's gonna feel good. It's gonna be the talk of the night, and nobody wants to be the talk of the night on someone else's wedding. He has Albanian friends in New York. This know. is Stacy and Troy. You're the one that's brought it up Stacey. to me. I mean, first and foremost, that freeze caption was not intentional. But um, of course, as you know, I have to obviously pause it, you know, I mean, due to copyright. Hence the reason why we do do the full reaction to the episode on Patreon, where, of course, I don't have to pause it as much. To be fair, I don't pause it for the most part. I just talk pretty much in the intervals. But anyway, with that being said, though, and the link is down below in the description, man. Let me, let me not forget that for Patreon. But with that being said, though, Obviously here, this is Darcy telling her the family, telling her dad, telling her mom that, hey, and, and her daughters as well, that, well, Georgie, Florin is actually going to be inviting Georgie. And to be fair, Florin says that the reason why he's invited Georgie to be there, his best man, is because he doesn't have any family members where he's at. And all his families are pretty much abroad. But then obviously, as you can see, um, Darcy's dad makes a very good point about how he has got friends all the way in New York that could easily make the commute as well. Because if Georgia can make the commute from where he's at to, to Miami, well, then why can't his Albania friends do the same goddamn thing? But also at the same time, though, and I've got to definitely back Darcy on this one, and that is the fact that you bring Georgie there, then that means the whole wedding isn't going to be about Stacey and Florent. It's going to be about Georgie and Darcy because at the end of the day, the way their relationship went wasn't exactly the best. But hey, we continue. Not in the crack ass, on the cheeks. Okay. Oh, you do laser. I'm uh, sorry, but it's not easy to reach back there. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. This has nothing to do with this video whatsoever. I just purely showed this because you see, if I have to see it, the people on Patreon have to see it, well, then guess what? You're going to have to see it too. It's just as simple as one, two, three. Honestly, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, why did these two always have to be so explicit? You know? every now and then like was this scene really necessary did it really have to be added if you ask me personally if you go back to the matchmaker matchmaker did say that hey the way you present yourself sometimes isn't exactly attractive to a guy that's looking for a woman that he wants to be serious with where you present yourself is more as if you're well she's pretty much called a hoe right the way i see it is that <laughs> The reason why I have to pick on this is because when it comes to Darcy and Stacey, but Darcy specifically, is that they never know how to keep anything classy. They will happily even do things like this on a TV show. For what purpose? Because you're trying to attract men? I don't know. But either way, though, in my opinion, I just sit there and I say to myself, was this scene necessary? Was it really necessary? And because I don't know whether it's necessary or not, I had to make sure that I found a way for it to be necessary. And that's by showing you guys because I had to see it. Patreon members had to see it. So yeah <laughs> but anyway let's get back into the rest of the, obviously how the episode went so actually i'm not going to look for a job i have something more important to do so this clown here tells Stacey that he's going off to look for a job <laughs> but then he comes out and says that he's got something more important to do than to look for a job yeah like can we make sense out of that how does he have anything more important to do than to look for a freaking job that's not possible because you need a job but anyway, 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 let's get into exactly what it was that was more important than looking to a job that he just had to do. I want Darcy and Georgie to be okay for my wedding and not have drama. I want four of us to talk and work out. It's a problem. 
So this clown, what was more important was that he went and picked up Georgie from the airport or the train station. I think it was the airport. And now, and the crazy part is, is that, you know, and I got to say, this definitely makes me respect Georgie. Georgie isn't really down for the whole idea of going to um, the wedding, knowing that Darcy doesn't want him there. But uh, as you heard there, right there, Florin has it in his head that he's going to set up a meeting between himself, Stacey, Darcy and Georgie before the wedding. And therefore they can hash things out because Florin has it in his head that he believes that if they can meet, hopefully they can hash things out and things will be completely fine moving forward for them to go to the wedding. I mean, I don't know why he thinks that. Actually, no, I do know why he thinks that because he has no brain cells. Because if he had brain cells, then he would know that as a man, he needs to go and get a job to provide for his woman, not just her working and her providing for him. And not just, oh, not only, don't, not only does he live off Stacey's money that she gets, he also lives off Stacey's dad's money that, she, that, that, that is the, the main income, right? So uh, that's how I know this guy has got no brain cells. He's a crook. He's, he's a... F <laughs> but either way, though, Definitely looking forward to see how it's going to plan out, how this means going to plan out with obviously Georgie and Darcy. I don't, it obviously, it's not going to go well. I'll be very surprised if it does go well. But I will say this though: in this episode here, um, Stacy, you know, Darcy goes for a part where she really wants to force herself into a relationship because the guy that she went on a date with last week, she was meant to go on a date with him this week, but he ended up canceling and saying, "Can we rearrange?" Now, here's the thing though: Stacy said that I'm a bit worried about Darcy, but she's always trying to rush into relationships. But in this situation, it's not the case of her rushing into a relationship. The case where Darcy was trying to rush to get to know this guy, so hopefully this guy can come with her to the wedding, and therefore, you know, she can just show off her new, her new accessory, should I call it? But um, at the end of the day, right now, that is not look that that does not look let's go into plan. So we shall wait and see. That's why the scene that I did show you of her bending over and all that kind of stuff, it was actually a scene. To be fair, I've just remembered the reason why they were doing that whole thing of her bending over and then Stacy putting some sort of liquid down there. It was because. Darcy wanted to make sure that she was all ready for tonight after her date. But of course, the date didn't go to plan. But it's quite crazy, though, because she literally met this guy on a matchmaker thing. You know what I mean? And they literally spoke with just that little segment that they had. And since then, of course, they've texted. But she was already planning to open her legs within the second date. Now, I'm not saying that that is a bad thing. What I find bad is the fact that she had it planned. You know, at the end of the day, the way I see it is if you go on a date with someone, if it's first, second, third, whatever, if it gets into that intimate part, it gets there because it just happens naturally, organically. It shouldn't really be a plan. I mean, don't get me wrong. Should a woman maybe maybe be, be prepared by maybe shaving or that kind of stuff because she wants to feel fresh? You know what? By all means, necessary. You do what you got to do. Same thing for men. Do you know what I mean? But with Darcy, it was a matter of way she was purposely like, yeah, I got to get this shirt. Because in my mind, I believe that she wanted to, she was hoping that she could pretty much sleep from first time of them having an actual real date and then hope that would lure him in to want to see her more which to be honest is a very backward type of planning but hey i guess that's, i guess this is why the matchmaker pretty much alluded to her being a hoe in the last episode. <laughs> the more i speak about it, the more comes out of my mouth the more i realize how messed up it actually is but anyway, with that being said, though, you guys let me know exactly what you're thinking down below in the comment section. And like I said before, we have got the link down below for the full reaction for my patron account in the description, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, 